Hello everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going over, I think this is bed number five, bed episode number five. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, happy Monday. And um, we're going over bed, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoins. Because being in bed with these crypto uh, is pretty fun. <laughs> so without further ado, let us begin. So uh, last week I said there was a chance of bounce back and there was and it's bouncing back. Um, yeah, we're finishing up. We're touching this area at the 5700 mark. Once that's broken, we're going to see a higher, um, not 5700, sorry, 57,000. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you know, we're going to see another, I think, a pushback. We're going to at least see one other continuation, at least two other continuations, actually. Of these green bars i think we're probably going to come up somewhere roughly at sixty-five thousand before we test that area we may cross it but we're probably going to come back a little bit more down here somewhere in the 61s before proceeding back up um yeah so as you can see one two so one two three shoulders dump one two we're gonna have a third shoulder we're probably gonna have a dumpy dump and then go back up so that's fine, that's all good. Uh, that's what Bitcoin's doing. Let's go check out Ethereum. Okay, so holy shit, all right. <laughs> that's awesome. Look at that, it's just big break. Giant big green candle. Yeah. Um, so hold on a sec, I just did something. There we go. So I guess Ethereum is probably gonna end up breaking um, 1873, and then we're probably gonna go back up uh, once that happens, you know, I don't see any limits here. Maybe I'll just do a Fibonacci somewhere. Let's see. Let's see if I can find the Fibonacci somewhere. Fibon, Fibonacci bands, I guess. Should be Fibonacci somewhere. Hold on a second. Yeah. So it could be roughly here at the 2044 mark that we sort of tap out, perhaps. To be honest, this is the first time I've actually used Fibonacci. I need to go learn more about Fibonacci and I'll do that and I'll show you. I used the Bitcoin logarithmic Fibonacci chart to deal with uh, Bitcoin's Fibonacci placement. So I need to have something that does that for Ethereum. So for the time being anyways, it seems like we're gonna co come back up to at least 1925 or 24 around that area. And then we're probably gonna go up um, from there. Yeah, so I needed to break this point, point 1870. And then let's see, yeah. I really, one, two, three, four. Perhaps it comes up here and then it does a little dumpy dump breaking breaking at least this barrier here the 1900 sorry yeah 1954 um, goes a little red and then comes back up it'll probably be the same for bitcoin as in it'll follow bitcoin in that sense if bitcoin is going to go red it'll probably go red also so that does ethereum and then let's see bed doge coins doge doge baby such wow all right so yeah, as I said last time, you know, it came down here, did a doji out and it's coming back up. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna complete this pattern here and then all the way over here and then higher. Uh, yeah, by the looks of it, it has two of these. I need at least this area, 0.067 to be fulfilled, right? It needs to hit that area and close above it for me to be super duper bullish and stuff. Not just a bull, I'm a super bull, right? So it'll probably bounce around this area for a while before breaking. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's receding, the red, right? It hasn't touched this, so yeah, it'll come between here and then go back up. So that looks to be what's happening right and so you know uh if i was trading on this which i may be or may not be who the hell knows i would do i would for ethereum i would probably enter the market now ride the wave back up to at least roughly 1900 um, and then decide what to do afterwards same for ethereum i would be riding this wave um all the way up to 
at least 6100 61,000 not 100 man bitcoin used to be 3 grand like honestly before that it was to be 300 and before that it was used to be 30 and way before the hell it was 30 it was like 3 bucks and before that it was 0 0.003 cents jesus christ the dollar has hyperinflated so um yeah actually let's do this let's have a paper trade here all right um all right, so I'm paper trading. I gave myself a 23 grand already. So just for the funsies of it all, uh, let's uh, all right, create a new order. I'm gonna market buy, you know, whatever quantity and I'll take profit at uh, 6,100. I don't want a stop loss. Uh, well, maybe a stop loss. Where do I wanna put my stop loss? I'm gonna put my stop loss at uh, I'm in BSD, right? So 50,855. 50, so 50,855. So there's a, <laughs> Jesus Christ, my risk is huge. I, I'm, I'm doing $18,000 worth of risk. <laughs> oh God, 80%. All right, well, you know, I'm paper trading, so no one gives a shit. All right, so that's that. Um, yeah. That'll be Bitcoin. I'm gonna do that with Ethereum also. So, shit, did I buy? Yeah, I don't have anything else in my account to buy more with, do I? All right, create a new order. Let's buy. Let's buy, you know, two of them at this price, at the market price. Let's have a stop loss at, let's see, price break. Stop loss at sixteen six eight. Jesus, yeah, I'm. I don't mess around, homies. All right, so let's do that, and then we're gonna do Doge because Doge is Bay. All right, so or Doge is such wow, right? So I'm gonna buy now, and I'll probably sell at this level. So here, I'm gonna buy another one. Let's say I buy a thousand, right? And then I'll take profit at this line, 0 0.057. And then my stop loss is 0 0.0446. Probably not a good stop loss, right? Uh, 0 0.0. Four, four, six. Actually, let's make a percent. Let's say I don't want to lose 10% of my money, right? No, not, yeah. Five percent? Point oh five percent? Does that make sense? No. Okay. So let's say the price is point oh. Four six six, or zero point oh four six six. So, if you know, if these don't go the way I intended to, then whatever. So now I have all these things panned out. Um, yeah. So this is all my fake trades. You know, none of this is real. But the cool thing about fake trading is you can see your <laughs> real time profits. Oh, just fantastic! I love technology. All right. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to keep doing these fake trades, perhaps, perhaps not. We'll see. But welcome to the bed series, you know, Bitcoin, like Ethereum and Dogecoin. I probably should go check out Litecoin too. But I'm going to keep it in this range because I like these three coins and I uh, I enjoy the acronym ba bed. If I introduce Litecoins, it'll be, you know, bed L. I'm not entirely sure if that's like a <laughs> proper acronym or anything to actually name anything. You know what, I'll introduce Litecoin later. Litecoin needs to be loved. It's very light, you know, enlightened. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for joining today. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, bye.